Hi, everybody. My name is Gabby Jones. I'm a consultant for Encryption Consulting. Encryption Consulting covers all the aspects of security concerns, such as data security, key management, and privacy. Today, we're going to discuss an interesting concept, uh, which is also pretty relatively new to the industry, which is ACME protocol. In this video, we're going to understand the latest entry into encryption technologies, ACME protocol. We will understand the basics of it and why it is important for modern public key infrastructure or PKI and certificate management deployments and how it can help organizations achieve automation. Internet Security Research Group developed the ACME, which stands for Automated Certificate Management Environment Protocol for its public certificate authority, Let's Encrypt. ACME automates the process of certificate management by issuing 90-day domain validated SSL certificates that can be renewed and replaced without manual intervention of website owners. Later, ACME protocol finally was published as an internal standard, RFC 8555, and now commercial CAs can leverage this protocol. As a first iteration, ACME version 1 was released, which supported certificate issuance to one domain only. Recently, however, ACME version 2 is being used, which supports wildcard certificates as well. So as I go on, I'm going to help you understand the basics of ACME protocol, explaining what it does, how it works, and why it's going to change the way organizations manage their digital certificates. IETF developed an Automated Certificate Management Environment, or ACME, for automatic certificate management of the customers and provides efficient ways to validate and authorize the certificate requester. ACME defines an extensive framework for automating the issuance and validation process of these certificates. The servers are allowed to obtain certificates without any human intervention. ACME helps in achieving the objective of setting up an HTTPS server that will automatically obtain trusted certificates without any human intervention. ACME protocol provides an efficient way to validate that a certificate requester is authorized for the requested domain and automatically installs the certificates. There are two major components in this protocol. One, ACME client, and two, ACME server. ACME is primarily used to obtain domain validated or DV certificates. However, ACME protocol can also be used to obtain higher value certificates such as organization validated, OV, and extended validation, EV, with extended support systems. Okay, so now we're going to go over how it works. ACME uses HTTPS as a transport for JavaScript object notation, web signature, JWS objects. These are also called REST API. ACME protocol works using two components, ACME server and ACME client. Devices or servers requiring certificates to be installed will have ACME client agent and ACME server runs on the certificate authorities. An ACME server needs to be appropriately configured before it can receive requests and install certificates. Steps to set up ACME servers are setting up a CA. ACME will be installed in a CA, so we would need to choose a CA on the domain we want ACME to be available. Then you enter the domain where ACME will be installed and choose on which CA it will be installed. And then you have authorization. The client contacts the CA and generates an authorized key pair. CA issues DNS or HTTPS challenges that the client responds to and solves to prove authority and control. And then the CA also sends a nonce, a random number, which is signed using the client's private key and sent back for verification to the CA. This concludes the setting up of ACME. Post-installation, the automation would begin to work. There are a few steps that ACME takes. Issuing and renewing certificates. ACME has the authority to issue or renew certificates to authorized users. At first, the client or agent generates a certificate signing request, CSR, sent to the CA. The CSR is signed by the agent, which the CA can confirm is genuine and comes from the agent. The CA, after verification, issues the certificate for the domain and returns it to the agent. Revocation. Like the previous process, the agent signs a revocation request sent to the CA. The CA again confirms the request's authenticity and then revokes the certificate, publishing on CRL, OCSP, etc. for the PKI infrastructure. 
So what are the advantages of using ACME protocol? A major advantage of using ACME protocol is to implement automated issuing and revoking of certificates without manual intervention. Apart from this one, there are several other advantages of using ACME protocol. So we're gonna go over those in this section of the video. ACME is cost effective for the users and it is absolutely free of cost, which lets any domain user get a trusted certificate at no cost. As previously stated, the ACME automates the certificate lifestyle with no manual intervention, and this reduces the chances of human error. ACME can be used by anyone, which supports uniform protocols for all functions instead of separate APIs. They are supported by open source, which helps to impact the whole community and grow more impactful projects, enhancing security. And in case of compromise, ACME can help quickly mitigate the issue, replace the old certificates with new ones, and switch to a new CA. This is gonna end our discussion about ACME protocol. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you are interested in learning more about encryption in detail, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. You can also contact us at encryptionconsulting.com if you have any questions uh, or if you just simply want more details. Thank you.